In this video, you'll learn to draw the mechanism for an acid-base reaction and identify the acid, base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base. When you're analyzing an acid-base reaction, separate metal-nonmetal bonds into ions first. Doing this reveals the charges on the species. Draw in all the non-bonding electrons, also called lone pairs, near any of the reacting centers and expand the structure, at least around the reactive portion of the molecule. Full and partial charges offer a great clue to determine where the reaction occurs. There is a negative charge in the methoxide starting material, so we are looking for a positive or delta positive charge in the other reactant. Look for a dipole, especially in a bond with a hydrogen atom. In this case, there is a delta plus, delta minus in the OH bond. Negative and positive charges attract. Use that principle to draw the mechanism. Where should the first arrow start? Electron pushing arrows always start at electrons and point to an atom or bond. A reliable starting point is a negative charge, an area of high electron density. The first arrow starts from the negatively charged oxygen and points to the delta positive hydrogen. Simultaneously, the second oxygen hydrogen bond breaks. Now we can draw the products of this reaction. Notice that I have included equilibrium arrows, reflecting that all these reactions are in equilibrium in principle. At this point, we have not analyzed whether it is the starting materials that are favored in this equilibrium or the products, or whether there is a 50-50 mixture. That's coming in a later section of the module. The next thing we can do is identify the acid, base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base, using the Bronsted definition. In the starting materials, the proton donor is the acid, and the proton acceptor is the base. In the products, the conjugate base is the species that would act as a base going in the opposite direction. The conjugate acid would act as an acid going in the opposite direction. Label the acid, base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base. Notice that the acid and conjugate base form a pair. They have the same core. The only difference between them is the presence or absence of the proton and the role of the electrons, shared in a bond or as a non-bonding electron pair. Similarly, the base and conjugate acid form a pair. In this video, we learned how to draw an acid-base mechanism and how to identify the acid, base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base. We will use these skills in the majority of reactions that we analyze going forward.